Hi there. I hope you are doing good. I own Yamaha uh, PSR E363. It's a nice keyboard and I needed a uh, uh, piano stand for it. And uh, however, I found out that instead of a piano stand, why not go for a piano table? Uh, because um, of the two reasons that I found, number one was that the height of the table where I was playing uh, it on, it was too low. It was an ordinary table, perhaps 45 centimeter top from the ground. And the second reason that I needed a piano table was that uh, there should be something that covers the piano while I'm not playing it. Something other than a piece of cloth. And um, uh, for that I went to look for piano tables in the market here locally and online and what I found out was the piano tables are extremely extremely overpriced. Oh most of them costing around 1 lakh rupees Pakistani rupees which would be around a thousand US dollars. And uh, to my amazement none of the piano tables in this price range had top cover. So they all had um, a need for a piece of cloth to cover the piano and um, such incredible high rates uh, so i went out online at youtube and on multiple websites to look for piano table designs and again i could not come up um, um, uh, I could not get to any website that could provide me a complete solution for my needs. So I designed it myself and here is a piano table with a chair placed in front of it and there is a top cover on it and my keyboard lies here inside this. Here it is. And well, um, that is the top cover and the table and the chair and um, let me um, um, uh, show you uh, what are its various parts so that when you make it you know how to make it and what are the sizes and the dimensions of all these pieces of wood that you are going to need so let's begin okay I have removed the piano from here table and uh, okay so here is the front. Uh, let me tell you that uh, the um, in the uh, description there is a link that includes the dimensions and uh, um, the photographs of all the parts. So here is the front and the front piece as you can see in this photograph I have not written the dimension it measures 100 centimeter by 20 centimeter this part it is only 100 centimeter by 20 centimeter and um, that piece to rest uh, feet on it measures uh, 96 centimeter by 14 centimeter so this part is 100 centimeter and that part is 96 centimeter because uh, that comes inside these um, um, uh, these two sides and the thickness of the wood is 2 centimeter on both sides so this one covers from edge to the edge and therefore it is 100 centimeter however that one is 96 centimeter so uh, front piece uh, are done and uh, next we have this tabletop and the tabletop this tabletop has a piece of wood another wood and two pieces of wood uh, this is small piece with a top uh, with a front cover and uh, you can see here that this piece is 14 by 100 centimeter here this piece is 14 by 100 centimeter that piece and this one here it measures 28 by 100 centimeter so 28 by 100 centimeter and these are two pieces the front piece and this small piece and uh, this small piece is 4 by 100 centimeter okay so here is the hinge another hinge here and it opens like this at there and here it opens like this i hope you are getting the idea and rests here or you can place it here so a piano may be placed here and another piano may be placed here and now the dimensions of this see here the top piece that has been opened it reveals these B spaces. 
so this piece of wood here it is 27 by 96 centimeter and this piece here is a, a piece of hardboard and um, uh, it measures 20 uh, 20 by 96 centimeter and this is 96 centimeter 2 centimeter and 2 centimeter makes a hundred centimeter so that's why the top cover pieces are 100 centimeter whereas the inner pieces are 96 centimeters and um, the 96 centimeter a uh, bit please be advised that my uh, uh, yamaha psr e63 it measures um, uh, in a total dimension here around 95 centimeter so be sure that you increase the um, uh, 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 i would say the length of the wooden piece or decrease it according to your need for example if your piano table measures uh, let's say 100 centimeter or 105 centimeter then you must increase it one centimeter or two centimeter beyond that length so i hope you get the idea now let's have a look at uh, the sides here well uh, the, the, um, before sides um, this uh, piece of uh, cardboard here, uh, hardboard here is to hold the tablet like that for example if i have to play sing notes on the tablet pc i would place it here and um, or you can also place The holder for sheet music here and uh, let me show you the sides here well this is here as it looks from sides the side is made out of two pieces here and another piece here and the different there's a difference between both pieces which I am going to show you See that well the photograph of uh, this whole dimensions is attached uh, in the link that I have shared in the uh, description so this uh, front piece here it it measures uh, in uh, 10 centimeter from the ground and a cut has been given here and from here to here it is 10.5 centimeter and uh, in total uh, length it is 10 centimeter above from the ground then another cut has been given around here 52 centimeters and again it is 18 centimeter till here so it it measures uh, it measures around um, in total length 80 centimeter the total length is 80 centimeter 10 centimeter till here then 52 centimeter till here and 18 centimeter till here and the width is 22 centimeters and this back piece here it again it measures 10 centimeter from the ground and a cut has been given here from 5 centimeter and then till here it is uh, around uh, um, uh, the, the total length the total length above here is 82 centi 80 centimeter and the width is 22 centimeter you will need two such pieces two of these pieces so that um, uh, the one is from the, for the other side that looks exactly the same as this one here and uh, that piece of ply there is both to give uh, it a decorated look as well as to hold these bases together and the, at the top these are being held together by this piece of wood here inside you see that till here only till here only because that is a hardboard this is a wood it holds this from inside and it holds that piece holds it from outside again this piece of hardboard that you can see here has been cut inside so that it holds it from inside there you see that and now let me show you the back Well, this here is the back. The back is made of a two piece, uh, pieces of hardboard. This is hardboard and this is also hardboard. And that is a cover that opens by hinge mechanism, 
with a magnet here and uh, that is uh, for allowing the accessories to be placed here it leaves me around a margin this much here perhaps seven centimeter behind the keyboard so that i may have wires coming out from here or i may place the adopter back inside or headphone inside if i plan to and the dimensions of the back piece are here that i've shared in the linkedin description that this piece of hardboard above it measures 20 by 75 20 by 75 centimeter and this piece here it measures 44 by 100 centimeter and so the dimension of uh, this small piece would be around 20 cent uh, 20 centimeter by 25 centimeter and here is a hinge mechanism i hope you get the idea now let me show you the final looks let me pause the video here are the final looks and uh, that is the cover for sheet music and the chair with the piano thank you for watching follow the link in description to see all the dimensions